What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is my nine top items from Zara. That's like honestly a tongue twister. Not gonna lie, that intro took me like 20 tries to say that correctly. But anyway, my nine top items from Zara. These items are perfect for spring and also transitioning into spring. So I wanted to kind of walk you through each item and I will definitely do a try on portion for you guys. So long story short, I think I have like an addiction to Zara. Every time I go in, I leave with so many items and I was actually waiting for a friend in Soho. She was 20 minutes late. So I was like, let me just pop into Zara. And then of course I leave with nine items. I, I'm in love with all the items and I think they're so perfect for spring and I can't wait to show you guys. Okay. First up, I'm going to start with the transition pieces. So in that in between winter and spring, it's kind of that like awkward period. You don't really know what to wear. So I always opt for like a light colored sweater and jeans this way. It's like you're still dressing for spring because you're not in like your blacks and grays anymore. So I went with some really fun sweaters. This one I'm obsessed with. Also tie dye is a huge trend this season. It was all over the runways at Fashion Week. So I figured why not get it in a sweatshirt. This also looks really big, but I got a size small. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. I picture this just tucked in with boyfriend jeans with either a sneaker, a little boot or something super casual and comfy. I live in comfy clothes like I'm in right now and it's just so practical and but you can also make stuff like this look really put together. Another great sweater. This one I think is a little bit more not dressy but you wouldn't wear this to like lounge around your house so it's super fitted on the body and then the sleeves are super super puffed which is also another huge trend for spring i love it and i also like that the body is so fitted this way you're not walking around looking like a huge like puffy marshmallow and you could tuck it into like high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirt or whatever you want to tuck it into and really let the sleeves kind of steal the whole show so once again i went with cream just because we are entering spring and i'm trying to get away from all the blacks and grays i gotta say small 39.90 i think the first letter was 39.90 as well so great deal for 40 bucks okay next up you guys love my levi's boyfriend jeans and i'm always trying to find less expensive options for you guys. I think the Levi's boyfriend jeans are like two something. I found these very similar options. These were $40. I took the tag off because I wore them yesterday. Um, but they are the perfect wash, the perfect fit. I love how high waisted they are. They actually do have all the buttons just like the Levi's do as well. I love the raw hem at the bottom. Perfect wash. I think I already said that, but I really like the wash. And what I like about this actually better than my Levi's is that they have no distress in them. So when I want like a really beat up light wash ripped pair, I'll go for my Levi's. And when I want something a little bit dressy that I could wear to dinners or something like that, I'll go with this option. And I actually just bought a pair of jeans off Revolve. I never know how to say the brand. It's like A G O L D E, a gold. A gold. I don't know, but <laughs> those were $200 and I'm not kidding. They look identical to this. So I need to figure out like what I'm doing with them because when I brought these home, I was like, wait, these are like the exact same pair of jeans, but these are $40. The other ones are $200. So if you really want a cute, nice quality pair of high-waisted boyfriend jeans, go to Zara because these feel just as good as my 200 and up options. Okay. Next up, I kind of stole this look off the mannequin and whatever I'm admitting it I stole this look from the mannequin and I've lately I've been really into like really fun cotton candy colors whether it's baby yellow like pastel pink light blues so that's kind of where this next look comes in so first off I guess I'll show you the top first because this is more of the light color so it's this really pretty sheer top once again another puff shoulder top it's probably looking really strange on camera I'll show you guys a try on portion of it but I love it. I love how the sleeve tightens at the end. I love the color. It's really pretty. It's shimmery too. So first off, I bought this and I already have like three different outfits to wear this with. I think you could wear it back with your boyfriend jean for a very casual look. And then you could wear it with the skirt and pants that I'm about to show you right now. This, I took the tag off because I wore it yesterday, but I got a size small. I believe it was like $50. I don't know. I'll have everything linked down below. So anyway, the look that I stole from the mannequin was this shirt paired with these cobalt blue pants, which I thought was super chic and super cool. And lately I'm really into like, not like a full suit, but like either the blazer alone or the pant alone, which is so weird because when I used to work at a corporate job, I never wanted to wear stuff like this. And now that I don't work a corporate job, I feel like I'm always in like very like businessy attire but i love the color they're so fun i got a size small these were 
I have not tried them on yet, so we'll see if the length is right on me, but I love the color. Like I said, I'm really into fun blues, pinks, and yellows for spring. Okay, and then this is the skirt that I thought would go really cute with this blue top again, so I honestly think I'm gonna wear that top so much, which is weird because it is kind of like a unique top. But anyway, I got this really fun purpley, grayish, cinched waist skirt i can't speak today i'm so sorry <laughs> i got it in the size small this was 29.90 which is an amazing price that's what i love about zara to me everything looks expensive and the price and the quality is amazing and the price is just so affordable and for me i wear so many different type of clothing that it's like i don't want to spend so much you guys know i like to spend a lot on accessories to wear back to kind of like my fast fashion clothing unless it's like my everyday basics like jeans or jackets I'll invest in but like stuff like this I really just don't think there's a need to spend like $600 on a skirt when you can get one for 40 bucks and it's just as cute okay next up this is a set and I just I had to have it as soon as I saw it I thought it was so cute it's houndstooth print and it's gray and white and it's this really cute cropped jacket what I like about this set is that you can wear it together or you can wear it separate and it came with a skirt which I gotta say small in this set, but this kind of looks a little big. I maybe should have done extra small, but we'll see. So the skirt, I gotta say small, like I just said, is $29.90, and then the jacket was $49.90. So for $80, I think that's a really cute option. <laughs> I can't talk, oh my God. So for $80, I think that's a really good price for a really cute set for spring. Like I said, you can wear them together or you can wear them separate. I'm probably gonna wear it together with a white t-shirt under it with like a cute pair of booties or something. I don't know, I love it. I love this print for spring. It is usually a more fall or winter print, but I like how they are bringing it into spring. And I think they were able to do that because the scale of the pattern's way smaller. So I think it's a little bit more feminine for spring. Whereas in winter, I feel like you see this print so much larger if that makes any sense um but yeah i'm such a sucker for two-piece sets you guys know it whether it's a pant and top a skirt and top or short and top i love two-piece sets i think it just makes for such like a put together expensive looking outfit and last but not least this is probably my favorite item i got this adorable woven or wicker i'm not really sure bag i'm obsessed with it first off i love how it opens and I like that it extends, you can fit so much in here. This is the perfect spring bag because you could wear it to the poor beach because of the fabrication or you could also wear it with like a cute sundress, a cute jeans and top moment. And yeah, you could hold it with the top handle or you could wear it on your shoulder. I personally like having both options. This I believe was $80, which for like a bag from Zara, I feel like the price was like, eh. Like I feel like it could have been like $50, but I really liked it and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. So I figured why not give it a go? I wanted a new updated black bag for spring and summer anyway and kind of one more that like I could just wear every day. And it's simple but yet has an update to it. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I know I did a video like this in fall, my top fall items from Zara. So I wanted to do another one from spring because you guys really seem to like that one. So comment down below if you guys do want to see more of these videos. I could do different retailers or I could kind of throw them all together and just make one huge clothing haul. It's whatever you guys prefer. But I specifically like to single out Zara just because I feel like everyone has access to it. You don't have to order online and the price is just really fair in my opinion. But make sure to comment down below which item was your favorite and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.